guys so today I have an empties video of the products that I finished in December and I actually have a bunch of stuff to show you which I don't know every time I finish a product I get really happy with myself I don't know is that so weird anyway so all the products are in this target bag and all the smells are mixing together and the fumes is just taking over my room so I decided I needed to film this now so I could throw all this stuff out so starting off with makeup products, the first thing that I have is the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara and as you can probably tell, it's not so clear anymore, it's kind of like a weird brownish color but I use this every single day for my eyebrows just to keep them in place because they kind of have like a problem with just wanting to stand up this way which is not okay with me. I would definitely recommend checking this out if you're looking for a clear brow gel because I know they have some at Sephora but they're going to be really expensive and this is about $5 so it's totally worth it. The next product is the Too Faced Primed and Perlis Powder, which I raved about a ton on my channel. This thing lasted me forever. Um, I decided not to repurchase it because I bought the Makeup Forever HD powder instead, which was, I think, a dollar or more expensive, but it had so much more product in it. But I did really like this stuff, and I especially love the packaging of it. It's really, really cute. The next makeup item is the L'Oreal Linear Intense Liquid Eyeliner. And this is in the color brown because I accidentally didn't buy it in black whenever I decided to repurchase it. But I really liked this. I don't know if I'll repurchase it anytime soon because I'm kind of using different liquid eyeliners right now. But I did really like this and I've repurchased it so many times in the past couple years. I really like the applicator because it's a felt tip and you don't have to worry about the ends fraying or anything so it's really easy to apply. So I would definitely recommend checking this stuff out if you're a beginner with liquid eyeliner because I use this all the time when I was just starting out. So I have two different mascaras which I'm really really sad about but this one is the Benefit Their Real Mascara which I love and I've repurchased this a million times. And then this one is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I got this with my... Um, a few of my favorite things palette and I used these two mascaras together for the longest time probably the past month or so but I just finished them both they're kind of like on the tail end of their life they're starting to get just really gross at this point but these two together were amazing they made my lashes really thick and volumized I don't think I would repurchase the Better Than Sex mascara because I don't think you can buy it in a little mini sample size and I think the full size would be between $20 and $30 at Sephora so it's pretty expensive but I would definitely get the um, Benefit Their Real mascara because you can get it in this size at Sephora for about $12 which I think is more worth it than buying the full size for like $30. The next product is an eyeliner, and this is the Elise Watier Waterproof Eyeliner in Charbon? Charbon? Is that what it's called? Uh, yes. So it's just a basic black eyeliner. I've had this for so long, you guys. I've had this since 8th grade graduation because this is what the makeup artist put on me, and I decided to buy it. So I really did like this. It was so good, and I decided to throw this out, even though I could probably get a couple more uses out of it. I just think it's time to move on and get rid of it. This product I actually finished today and I'm actually kind of sad that I finished it in a way but this is the e.l.f. daily brush cleaner and I got this forever ago. This should have been finished months ago if I actually cleaned my brushes and wasn't so lazy about it. So recently I started using it every single day which is probably what I should have been using all along but I really like this stuff. It did the job in cleaning my brushes um, however I didn't like the smell of it. It kind of smells really powerful and alcoholy and whenever you clean all your brushes at once it definitely overpowers and you can definitely smell it in your brushes the next day so that's the only thing I didn't like about it. This is the China Glaze No Chip Top Coat and I think it's time that it should go <laughs> because the brush is completely stiff. It's kind of disgusting actually and the product is really clumpy and you can't really get too much out of it anymore but I did like it a lot. Oh my god it smells so bad. Blech. I have no idea how to pronounce this brand, but I got it in a 500 point perk from Sephora and it came with a couple other skincare products, but this is a makeup removing cleansing water and I really like this. Normally I don't really like um, this kind of makeup remover. I usually use my Neutrogena cleansing lotion to remove my makeup. I feel like certain makeup removers like this can make my skin feel really oily and gross and I just don't like that residue-y feel on my skin, but this was really nice. Um, I didn't really get that feeling whatsoever and it took my makeup off really nice. But this little sample didn't really last too long, but it was good while it lasted. I have another St. Ives Oatmeal and Shea Butter Body Wash, and I did repurchase this, but in a different, like, scent. And I love this stuff. It's such good value for the size of it and stuff. I think it's about six bucks, so this stuff is awesome. This is a Bath & Body Works um, Gentle Foaming Hand Soap in Farm Stand Apple, which I really liked, and I love Bath & Body Works hand soaps. 
This product, I'm so sad that it's gone. This is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle and I could not find this in Canada for the life of me. I had to order this online from Amazon, so I'm really, really sad that it's gone. Um, but this was so inexpensive. It was like $4. I don't even think it was even $4. It was like 3 something, but it was such a good deal and I've been using this every single day since I've been home, except now it's gone. I could probably get one more use out of it if I squeeze the living daylights out of it. This makes my hair so soft. I definitely have noticed a difference in my hair. But I definitely will somehow get my hands on this at some point, whether it's ordering it online or going to the States at some point, I don't even know. This stuff makes an appearance in every empties video, and this is the Neutrogena All-in-One Makeup Removing Cleansing Lotion, and I've talked about this so many times, so I'm just not even. This is the Crest 3D White Toothpaste, and I brought this to college with me, and now it's gone. And finally, I have two different samples that I used up. So the first one is the L'Oreal Deep Acting Moisturizer, and I just found this yesterday in my makeup collection randomly. I didn't even know I had this. But I used this and it was so, so nice on my skin. I'll definitely be checking this out whenever I go to the drugstore next time, but this felt so nice. It did have a little bit of a perfumey smell, which I didn't really mind too much. It was kind of like decent and um, it felt so good. It made my skin really soft. It was a really nice light moisturizer, but you could definitely feel it moisturizing your skin. And I had a sample for the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, which I use in my everyday foundation routine. So I just used this up. So that was all the stuff I finished up in December, which I'm really proud of myself. That was a lot of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All of my links will be in the down bar for Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and my vlog channel. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. For the